Why should you play your childhood games? If you've been playing games for a while, you would know that we are living in an age of gaming that is very saturated with games that are stale, boring, heavily monetized, and straight up just not fun. So I recommend that you go dig up your childhood gaming console, pop in your favorite game, and take a trip back down memory lane. And if you need more convincing, here are my thoughts. Are old video games really more enjoyable than the games we are receiving right now? I'm talking about the worlds that you are transported in, the gameplay mechanics of the actual game, and the characters. Are the worlds that the games are taking place in actually interesting and filled with things that make you want to explore? Or are they just boring and you have no interest in doing anything and once you're actually transported into the game, you are not immersed and you just drop the game right when it's loaded in? Are the mechanics in games now fun and interesting? Does learning the game play feel like a drag? Or does learning the game entice you to spend more time with it? And are the characters in the game actually enjoyable? And does the personality of the characters draw you in to learning more about them and their story? Now, why are older games more enjoyable? Firstly, I believe it's because they focused on art style. Video games back then had more original character designs and video games nowadays are lacking in that so the question is is there any creativity in the characters you are playing as or meet throughout your playthrough also they use more engaging colors does the game look dull and uninteresting does the color palette draw you in and makes the world feel more fun to be in of course not every game has to use bright colors some games can definitely use more mute colors to fit their tone as well as artists focusing more on the art style over the graphics. Does the art style of the game make you stop and appreciate the level design and world exploration? Nowadays games are more about realistic graphics rather than the art style and I feel like that can limit creativity. Also games back then had more innovation. Games back then came up with new stories and newer IPs were being made. Nowadays everything is either a remake or a sequel. Also, more risks were taken back then. Developers would take more risk. They would come up with more outlandish stories and would give characters more of a personality that set them apart. Another big point is that there was less live monetary mechanics. Back then, when you bought a game, you had access to everything that video game would offer. You just had to unlock things by actually playing the game. Now, you can just buy whatever skin, weapon, or skill you want. I believe that live monetization in games distracts players from playing the game. Advertisements in games now are everywhere, including the home screen, the loading screen, or in actual gameplay. You can't fully immerse yourself without the studio trying to entice you to buy some in-game currency or skin. Another massive point is that games didn't feel like a chore. Side quests were actually enjoyable and did not feel like a task that you were checking off of a list. And games back then actually valued your time, knowing that you can't just spend all of your free time playing the game. There was access to fr fast travel, and I honestly don't know why this feature is trying to be removed from certain games. Games back then would reward you fairly for taking the time to explore, defeat a side boss, or doing a quick side quest. Now, I understand that nostalgia will always make the past feel better, and this includes gaming as well. It's true that gaming was more fun as kids because we had more time to immerse ourselves into the game without the responsibilities of life hindering us as adults now. So while I believe you should go back and play some of your childhood games that you played growing up, I also believe that there are still amazing games coming out today that give, can give you similar experiences to the ones that you held onto from the past.